Hey y'all, welcome to Ziggurat Gaming. My name is Zenon and I will be your host for today. I'm joined by Mike. How's it going everybody? And John. Howdy everybody. And I know the question on your mind, what is Ziggurat Gaming? Why, that's a weekly podcast where we take turns diving deep into a select video game, new or old, doesn't matter, and the current going-ons in the news of the world of video games. This week is our off week, basically, our news week, where we uh, focus on a few stories that interest us, interest us and our thoughts on the subject. Um, not a whole lot happened. There are a couple stories I want to talk about, but the biggest one is it's Pokemon Day today. We pushed our recording to record on today, which is 27th, um, because they had the Nintendo Direct. Seven minutes of some hot, hot information on Generation 8. Um, you guys saw it, obviously, yes? Yeah. Obviously. Oh, yeah. Let's say it'd be a short podcast if, if we did not. I'd be like, all right, well, yes. give you my impressions and then hang up. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I'm going to go into the basic details of it. Um, it's a new region. It is, what is it, Galaxy? What is it called? Galar. Gallery. Galar. 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 Gallery. All right. Okay. Uh, Galar. Um, it is based off of, uh, was it UK, Britain? Yeah, Britain, like Wales, pretty much and Scotland. You know, like, I okay, yeah, okay. it covers a big chunk of Europe. Yeah, I got the map in front of me. Not right. Ireland, and I'm not salty about that or anything. <laughs> yeah, well, it's okay. You'll get your... It'll, it's, that's fine. It'll be the Poke Park. Yes, exactly. Oh, It'll be like, it's like about what, 20 miles? Like, get out of here, dude. <laughs> no problem. It's the Irish. I'm just saying, man. Like, you can okay. run to, what, 10 different Pokemon over there? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. It's all red there. Um, anyway... All right, so uh, let's talk about it. Uh, what you guys think of the trailer. Overall, I thought that it looks interesting, particularly the part where the character, the player character, is entering into an arena dressed in a sports uniform. I'm very curious about what's going on there. I was that, like, was that like, the cinema? Or was that just in-game cutscene? I, I... That was uh, probably an in-game cutscene, and it's probably what, like what I'm assuming is their version of gyms. And there's like a dress code, like it's like a sporting event for them. Like, is it uh, confirmed like, that gyms are back though? Uh, they did confirm that okay. there are okay. gym. You're battling like gyms, and there is a champion and like a stuff like that. So, so did you? I know we're bopping on the assumption that everyone played uh, Sun and Moon, but did y'all play Sun and Moon? Yes, I played. I played two islands of Sun and Moon. Mm. Okay, all right. I beat uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I beat it as well. I didn't play Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon. Um, I really, really enjoyed like regular uh, Sun or Moon, whatever the hell one I got. Um, Lunala. I, I like Solgaleo better, for the record. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I um, really enjoyed my time with that. I called the entire, every single Pokemon that was available in both games and uh, just maxed out the decks. I... I uh, I can get in that a bit later, but um, really enjoyed my time with it. Did not enjoy the end game so much. There was just wasn't much there, um, but they were. It was a relatively small game, like so much so that obviously there was a sequel that I didn't even bother with because I was like, no, nah, this game's too small. I'm excited about the eighth generation. I, I think it looks cool. I don't, I don't think it's dramatically. It doesn't look dramatically different. But uh, let me let me just touch on to the points here. All right, battling is back to the random encounters. It is no longer the let's go style of throw the Pokeball or like modern Final Fantasies where the enemies on the map. Which I actually like. Okay, you're wrong, but that's fine. I <laughs> like it because I don't want to know like, oh, this is a brand new adventure. I don't want to know like, oh, hey, that Pokemon looks cool. I'd rather have that surprise of like, oh, what am I going to yeah, find? Yeah, on the world map and then be like, oh, what's up? This is a... Uh, yeah. Hopscot, Hopscorch, which I'm calling it now. It's got to be an evolution, right? Surely for the bunny. Oh, no, anyway, I hope not. We'll touch on that. Just, one. just to prove you wrong, I hope not. <laughs> I hope yeah. not too. <laughs> yeah, take that, nerds. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's interesting. I totally do not feel the same way, which is fine. I, because I'm more pissed okay. that there's no follow Pokemon like Nintendo. The two best games that you've put out for pokemon are arguably heart uh heart gold and soul silver and the let's goes because they're the first switch games and they both had follow mechanics for pokemon put them in every I, other game yeah i 
technology is not there, man. It's just oh, not there, okay. obviously. That's the problem. Yeah, obviously the technology is not there a year ago. Nice, dude. What do you think this is? The Switch 2? Get out of here. Sorry, I've got to be devil's advocate. I don't use the follow mechanic at all. Okay, well, well, you're a horrible human that's being. That's you don't like Pokemon. If I could, okay. if I John, could put I'm my back e- on your side. If I could put my EV in the Pokeball, that's where it would be. <gasps> <gasps> well, well I'm a Pikachu guy that's anyway, so, you know. <gasps> oh my god, I don't agree with any of you. Sweet <laughs> lord. Oh, it's disgusting. Get out of here. But no, it's uh, it's pretty exciting. I, I think it looks interesting. It, the, the, it looks good. It looked like the, the camera angles, the... Uh, the frame the, rate's like 12, fr- but yeah, hopefully they'll fix that. <laughs> well, it said not final footage. Yeah, well, it's not flipping Final Fan- or Fire Emblem, the Twin Houses, or the Three Houses, which is yeah. almost... <laughs> Uh, the three, the amount of frames it hits. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the what I actually took away from this trailer a lot though was the upgraded moves, like the way they look in oh, like animation the way, and such. yeah, the animation for the moves and the way the Pokemon react to the moves when they're hit. Yeah, uh, I'm especially looking at the Lucario versus Tyranitar fight, which is in that stadium setting. Yeah, which I'm assuming is either. A gym, their version of a gym now, or online what play. Like, what if it's actually, yeah, that or yeah, like it's know. a it's a big battle because like it looks beautiful, like the cinematic yeah. aspect of it. Actually, I, uh, for the online thingy, that would make a lot of sense because it's supposed to be a big spectacle, at least as far as they take it in the shows. Yeah. Um, Pokemon battles are Wait. a spectacle. <laughs> so, so what you're saying is. The amount of Twitch viewers you have will fill the stadium. So this is the this that is would be pretty like intense Twitch interaction in there. That, that would, that would be actually be interesting. If that actually worked that way. And, <laughs> and you can vote for who you want to win, and that'll give them slight stat increases. I like it. It's good. It's like a twi- <laughs> it's a, a collective fusion of Twitch plays Pokemon and your. But I love it. Great idea. Can't no. we see that in the game? No, what really happens is we're selling tickets. There's a cap of uh, 200 people. Oh, shit, you're right. It costs $5 <laughs> to watch one Poke event. <laughs> All uh, money goes directly to Nintendo and uh, the ethical treatment of animals. Exactly. Goes Here's the serious yeah. question Oof. for you guys. Uh, do we think customization for the trainers is back? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, not... That, let's go level of customization but like uh x and y where like you could literally like change your hair color like uh, you could do that in, you could do that in the other one you just didn't get that far dog i i i really didn't <laughs> fucking boom <laughs> it's i yeah, haven't had time leave me alone <laughs> Oof. to be um, fair though <laughs> i don't use that either so <laughs> i didn't know it was a thing so I'm no, sorry. It, it i think it's like the third island where you could fully customize like no 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 no, no, no. There was some stuff that was not unlocked until you beat the game. Well, yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah. No, I mean, like, oh. you, so you could still edit your too hair much water. And stuff. It just you had to earn some five out of ten. Exactly. Too much water. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Fuck it, fuck that, dude. That they were right. It's too much water. <laughs> fuck those games. <laughs> fuck those games. Too yeah, much water. Yeah, sun and moon. Too much water. No, what? No. By the way, these games are called uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. I yes. Probably should have thrown that at the front there. That's on me. They didn't um, throw it out the front, so it's not your B whoops um but no it's uh I, i'm sure just like sun and moon it will not have anything to do with age of slash at all in fact they probably won't be even in the game at all nope definitely not which is, which is terrible I, I like that pokemon a lot actually <laughs> fuck that pokemon fuck a competitive ass piece of garbage can't stand them they're amazing though man. It, it's actually cool it's cool but like man i mm, the different attacks giving it different stances is amazing. I know. That's cool as hell. <laughs> Just don't like fighting against it. Because <laughs> it's a monster. <laughs> uh, so, which of the three starters are you guys going to be choosing? Oh, yeah. That's right. So, they also unveiled their, their starters. Um, was it Groot? Grokey uh, is the uh, chimp grass the type chimp. Pokemon. Uh, yep. Score Bunny yeah. is the fire rabbit type. And uh, Sobel, and the Sol. water lizard. He's a chameleon. He turns invisible. Yes. What, he's like li- actually tadpole. uh, uh it's like a tadpole chameleon. No, he's an axel. No, so he's not. Well, Mudkip no, is an axolotl. Sobble is a chameleon. His feet and his curly tail give it away. And he goes invisible. Also, he looks kind of like a tadpole chameleon. Eh. He is a chameleon. Uh, I'm calling it right now. I want the fire Pokemon to be fire electric. 
it will die once it looks to the ground. But <laughs> no, it's gonna be firefighting, man. Uh, I'm telling you, it's gonna be firefighting. With the bandaid over I its nose. It's yeah, it's got that anime bandaid. <laughs> Uh, I hope it's uh, not. Fire Electric would actually be... It's It's actually Fire Psychic. (laughs) No. You know what? I would actually... Del Del Fox was Fire Psychic. Okay, it's Fire uh, Ground. It's Fire Air. It grows wings. That's a piece of dirt it has on its forehead. All I know is Um, I I would need that Sobble to be a Water Dragon. That'd be cool, but I I could see like Water Psychic, honestly, because it's invisible. Or Ghost. Water Ghost? Ghost again. Because like, they did ghost, fi- ghost. Um... They did ghost fire, or no, sorry, no, ghost, ghost grass, uh, ghost grass, ghost yeah, grass. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that, that's Which a different thing. I love Decidui. We all talk about Rowlet. No, what's his name? The middle evolution. I don't, I don't even remember. Even there was Rowlet, and then there was Decidui. <laughs> yeah, it was fucking awkward teenage phase. Which I loved it. That stupid ass <laughs> hair, but man, Oof, rest in peace, Rowlet's evolution. <laughs> um, but. All right, on the subject of these starters, um, again, you have Grookey, the grass, score bunny, the fire, and Sobble, the uh, water. Um, what do you all think of them? I actually think they look good for starters, because starters are the first Pokemon you interact with. They set the tone for the rest of the game, uh, probably design-wise. Um, they actually yeah. look really good in-game as well. Like, their sprites. So I, my... Um... Let's take a look at them. They all look very similar. Like, head shape, pretty doggone similar. Body shape, pretty similar. And, like, hat, hair, also pretty similar. Like, hair, for lack of a better term. Like, really, really close there. Obviously, you got the, the frog aspects, of, or the amphibious aspects of the Sobble, and then the monkey, like, land of a uh, Grookey. And then uh, that, but it just looks very <laughs> similar. Whatever the hell that is, this is a nice little hat. But um, I actually don't think they look very the, like the face structure. I will agree with you; they're all circular faced, uh, like cute eyes and stuff like that. I'm but the body, I'm not, I'm not sold on them. I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan. I they're not I the really worst hope. starters I've ever seen, though. No, that goes I, to Generation Five. What up? Honestly, uh, I, was, I like them a lot, but. Yeah, I, I, I just think they look very similar. Like, especially when they did the 3D reveal of them. I'm like, oh shit. These guys just grew up in different sides of the track. <laughs> I, I, I'm curious how it's going to turn out. I, I, it's If it turns out like, a, I guess, Generation 7, we'll, we'll have a 4chan leak that someone will post and it'll be actually legit. Yeah. And, uh, yep, uh, basically. So... Speaking of the leaks, I saw some leaks about some of like the end game mechanics that might be in this game. Bro, I would take that with like a grain of Oh, no, grain totally. Grain. But it was very interesting, like this new rumored armor ability that you'll be able to switch out the second type of your Pokemon oh, with a different type. That'd be a cool thing. The sword and shield attack defense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it That'd changes cool. like uh, a- you, the out- attributes of the Pokemon during the fight. Sure, sure. Which I guess, yeah, I could. I don't know. I that'd be like game changing. I guess that could be the quote mega evolution of this. Yeah, you know? it's it, like, that's that what the, the post said. On I think if that's a way that they want to bring back mega evolution, though, that would be, and at least that would keep the mechanic interesting, and it would still feel fresh and new. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm in the minority. I do not like Mega Evolutions. Um, I I think it was kind of... It was like... Not a lazy crutch, but a crutch for like adding uh, content to the game without really changing much. Or progressing. Yeah. Like, it's just... Some of them are cool and they fixed like some of the problems with them. I just hated the one turn delay. Like, I, I just did not like that. I mean, yeah. Not a fan. Just... Not for me. Three out of five. Honestly, my only problem with Mega Evolutions were when they were clearly overpowered, like Venusaur, where you're getting its stats and it's like, oh, it's weak to fire and but and ice, but it has the ability of thick fat, so it's not weak to anything. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's it just like, well, I, you know what? Whatever. I'll play it. But uh, <laughs> I think I don't really care for the battle system in the Pocket Monsters. Like, it's fine. It's serviceable. 
Um, it's you know rock paper scissors, and I, I do you know play a lot of them, like whatever. Um, I did not expect to like let's go as much as I did, but uh, I just wish they would replace that with the button. Uh, but I don't much care for the battle system, like for capturing pocket monsters. It's fine. There's minor strategy involved, but I guess I'm not the. What I'm saying is, take my opinion and throw it in the trash because I don't really care for that battle system anyway. Anyway, so which star are y'all gonna take? Uh, I kind of want to see the next stage evolutions in the final nope, evolution. Right now, gun to your head. You gotta pick one. Which one? I'm picking Sobble. Uh, Score Bunny. Fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm picking Grookey. That was my number one seed. <laughs> Uh, I, I mean, we could have all just picked Score Bunny or All Soulful. You don't have to pick the Red I, um, Stepchild. I <laughs> I like Sobble the best personally. I don't care for fire types. Um, they're but Charmander. They're too cool for me. Yeah, see, no, see, see, see I like I like I like the fire types, but mm. I still am f- feeling that this one's going to end up being a freaking fighting type, and it's going to piss me off. The well, that's why I want, now, like, tradition. I mean, exactly. I like Sobel as well, but Score Bunny, I'm going to name Roger Rabbit and <laughs> just, like, go with it. I'm telling you, Hopscorch and then, uh, Scalbit? No, Scalbit no. Rabbit. No, yep, no. That's it, boom. Got it. If, right. if <laughs> this, if that is actually accurate, I am I work going for Nintendo. to my dad, freaking my uncle's scream. Nintendo. Oh, my God. <laughs> it wouldn't Heard be, though, it here first. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. It wouldn't be because they would go. It's torchic combustion and lazy can. They use three different fires. Yeah, exactly. And I just did scorch for two of them. <laughs> don't worry. I know. I'm disappointed as well. Um, I don't know. I hope the grass actually ends up being cool. Uh, I know everyone it's hated. Gonna, Prima it's gonna be a giant monkey. Seal. See, the thing I'm is, gonna... Prima Marina, I did not like I at all Prima from Marina. a design choice, but that thing is a monster. <laughs> oh, she was my favorite. I I picked her because no one would pick her. That's spoilers. Is what I usually do. See, she's um, got man. monstrous special defense. It's basically a fairy typing Milotic. Oh, it's so <laughs> nice. Oh, it's so good. Loved it. Um, the stage was dope as hell. I didn't care about Incineroar. He's fun in Smash Brothers, um, but I love that wrestling aspect of him. I thought Last Generations was like one of the best starters for sure. Yeah, I liked all three of them except for like Rowlet's. <laughs> I fucking cannot. I cannot remember his evolution. Dratrix like, or Dr- Dartrix. 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 That's Dartrix. it, my man. Wow. Yeah. Someone give that man the prize. I I'm on. Uh, He's on Serebii. Serebii. <laughs> net. Yeah, I'm oh, on oh, Serebi. Okay, okay, so All right, I see yeah. this. Well, uh, no, I'm on Serebi because I'm looking up the Sword and Shield stuff, and yeah, I just kind of tabbed uh, over. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm. Uh, I think it's gonna be cool. The gym system is back, which I could take or leave. One of my favorite like memories of the Pocket Monsters recently was that um, it was the second trial I think the grass one. Did you play that one? The to... the one with the Sarina. Yes, I really like that one. That was like oh shit, this is like an actual boss battle in Pokemon. That and it was like that Sarina was times. dope. <laughs> yeah, it was one of the few times I wasn't like grossly over leveled. I was like, damn, this is an adequate challenge. I think I actually lost my first battle. It felt like fighting Whitney's Mill Tank all over again. Oh, yeah, fuck that. Jesus. Jimmy <laughs> Christmas. Uh, so, uh, back to Sword and Shield. I'm looking at the like a high res map of Galar. Mm-hmm. And it only looks. You can only see five of the gyms. Four, four or five of the gyms. Well, potentially, yeah. And if it's less than eight, I'm totally okay with that. Like, it's. Yeah. It'd be unique i mean there's obviously different towns like there looks whatever and to be have underground areas yeah which would be looks, dope looks to be a grass that. type a water and like a rock and then i'm assuming like a psychic or yeah poison awesome. because there's giant mushrooms growing around it give me that normal type gym <laughs> yes bring back whitney it's just gonna be whitney yeah. Shit, not back. even a new trainer it's just whitney still rolling <laughs> and i should take your save data from the last one like metal gear oh, oh, so you got the 16 rollouts <laughs> 16 rollouts haven't missed a single one yet yeah oh shit <laughs> it's coming at me and i i it'd be cool if you started at the top of the town like top of the map the, oh the, no you the, start at I the bottom it, uh, of course because god forbid you get nice pokemon earlier in the game that'd be ridiculous you know i mean the Route one is right at the little windmill. Yeah. 
yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, uh, it's cool. It looks a little potentially linear, which is fine. Um, because all games, all these I mean, games it's, are, you just don't know. They it. tend to be but bottom like, to top, so yeah. Like top and vertical, top to bottom. I think it'd be really cool if there was an underground area. Also, um, it looks like a lot of mountains because the train, uh, yeah, railroad goes through section, all the yeah. yeah. Um, also the the like with the lakes there's like literally nothing that's good no water pokemon fuck water pokemon like i didn't mean it sobble <laughs> i'm sorry sobble my one child <laughs> but like there's no town like there's the one this one broken castle but there's no like town or center and it takes up yeah it looks uh, like a pretty rural like a countryside type thing and then you have yeah. the steampunky district like a big ben i'm not for, I know nothing about London. that. You know, that looks texture, like so. more like industrial, like uh, yeah. steampunky uh, London. Well, look and then, they had they had literal uh, cogs. So obviously, yeah. it's steampunk. And then, like the actual Big Ben is up at the top, where it's mm-hmm. like the Ferris wheel and the giant ass tower. Looks like, it looks like the Seattle, uh, uh, the Space Needle, all the way at the top of the map. Yeah. 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 It's actually Seattle. It's just a shot for shot remake of Seattle. It's like, oh yeah. shit. <laughs> they want to uh, show off what's Yeah, Seattle in uh, the UK. Yeah. I, I yeah. Got yeah, obviously. What is that? Like Dublin? I don't know. Um, this seems small. It's not. But I'm going to say that because I want uh, Sinnoh to somehow be involved in this. That'd be interesting. <laughs> it's to be a dual <laughs> Generation 4 remake with fucking this new region it's so an eight you know if, if you divide it by two it's two games in one <laughs> it just makes sense i mean at the start of the direct and he's like talking about all the adventures you've been on and all the games are like going on behind him mm-hmm. anyone else feel like are, are we gonna get like the mall just combined like oh, i know right so like, funny that you say that. that can we just funny get that you say that because in the middle here the middle here over on the right if you're looking at the map I see a port. I don't see yeah. any destinations for that on this you get map. That one fucking island to go to. Yeah, I don't see any destinations for that over here. And that's what I'm saying. Oh, uh, which side? The on the right side in the gym? middle. With the lighthouse. Yeah, there's a ship there. Yeah, which I mean, you know, that would transport around the mountains or whatever. But like, I, I um, if this like connects the Poké World together, I think it'd be so fucking cool. I mean, there are a lot of clouds. There yeah. are. Well, that Those was clouds the, could be covering Alola something. as well. It was super clouded, and like people were like, "Oh, there's a Lugia in the clouds," and like, blah, blah, blah. but that didn't go anywhere, obviously, because no, fuck it. Why would it? Nope, um, we got pocket dimensions instead. Yeah, Jesus. Wait, what? Because um, surprise. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I guess I have to play Sun and Moon. Yeah. They're saying that. You, right. you kind of had to be good. there. <laughs> You're good. But it'd be cool if this was like a part of the map and then they expand it. Oh, by the way, your journey will continue in. I'm not going to say Sinnoh, but in Sinnoh. Yeah. I mean, since this is technically Great Britain, it would probably be more, uh, like hey, the, you're uh, going back Kalos. to Kalos because that's like yeah. France. Yep. Which would make well, total sense. War with each other. Okay, let's we're, not get it. We're not. Uh, okay, well, hold on. It's not going to be this Pokemon. I have Pokemon 16 pages of Pokemon fan fiction. Hold on, please. <laughs> <laughs> they, a lot of them involve Lieutenant Surge and his muscles. Yeah, no, obviously. I mean, obviously, he's the he's a lieutenant. Of course, he's in the war. Oh, don't worry, I'll get there. We got plenty of time. <laughs> also, the castle in the middle has like a dragon head for the door. And yeah, that's pretty I, sick. I think it's gonna. I, I'm uh, looking forward to it for yeah. sure. That's where Drag lives. Um, <laughs> it's actually <laughs> Cynthia's house. She moved up here. Exactly. It's her summer home. Yeah. It's, yeah. Fucking a. Like she. Yeah. She, she, yeah. <laughs> Um. Uh, random encounters are back. We already went over that. Um. Uh, what did you guys think of the Pokemon that they were showing off? Because the very first thing that we see is a Chinchino squaring off against a Pikachu. It just pretty makes sense, you know. Rat on rat violence. Stop rat on rat violence. Please sign my petition. Because um, I'm just wondering how many generations of Pokemon they're going to be bringing into this. Oh, that's, that's generation. Is that generation four? You sign it. I mean, there's all the way up to uh, Alola region Pokemon in it. Yeah, yeah. So it'd be nice to have like a everything. Well, I'm curious. 
Um, John, I, I know you didn't finish it, but they only had the national decks in um, Sun and Moon, mm-hmm. which had like 240 some odd Pokemon. Yeah. Um, you literally had afterwards. the Kalos Pokemon, and then when you beat it, you can catch some of the regular ones. Yeah, they had like some whatever, and mainly the only older ones was uh, sorry, not the, Kalos, uh, Alolan bird. Yeah. Um, I mean, which I actually liked a lot. Like I, I didn't. I, I was I was invested. I said, all right, there's new regions, islands. Obviously, there's not going to be like a so and so here. I I bought into the bullshit basically. Yeah, yeah. I thought the regional stuff made sense. Yeah. I mean, from just the trailer alone, there's the there's Pikachu. Obviously, there's a Noctowl. A yeah, you have two, four. I I don't I block out any members to three. Uh, it's you know, yeah, it's pretty wide range, and I, I'm. It would kind of would make sense because if this is a like a hub where people go there and there's a big old party city and stuff, it's probably attract a lot of tourism. Yeah, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> you know, I mean, again, this is a page seventeen of my fiction. It's 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 all in there. <laughs> I think that it makes uh, a lot of sense too, just because this. This is their main their main titles of Pokemon games coming to the Switch for the first time. So, they want so try to do something everything. big, bring everything there. Oh, uh, so uh, anyone, any other final thoughts on Sword and Shield? Yeah, uh, the guy's like luggage backpack thing just is a little He's too gonna much. Board. That guy's going to board nine and three quarters real soon. He's going to go Hogwarts for Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, like that, and then the girl has a Scottish hat on. I love it. Yes. So fashion souls all the way, man. <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely. I, I it'll be exciting to see how this turns out, and it'll be fun speculating and guessing and being horribly wrong about just about everything as I, I usually am. Uh, in other related Pikachu news, uh, or sorry, Pokemon news, we have the second Detective Pikachu trailer that came out. Oh God. Um, <laughs> I want to just the two minutes on this or something like that. I know we're running a little bit late here, but uh, all right. Movie's coming out May 10th. Are y'all bought in? Do you have any questions? Or are you just I, fucking going to line up with me at the, at the you know, oh, Cinema City? I will be lining it up at the theater with you. This movie, when it first was announced, I'm like, this is not going to be good. And then the first trailer came out, and I'm like, hold on. Why, why does this look hold good? On. Why am I laughing? <laughs> And all these Pokemon are terrifying, and uh, yeah, some of them are terrifying. Good. Some of them are yeah. adorable. Yeah. Uh, we're, I don't know about you, but that Snorlax <laughs> sleeping at the street, adorable. It's. I, I think these trailers are one of the most fun I've had. Like, I assume this is what it felt like if you're watching Lost live. I watched it on Netflix afterwards, but it's like, oh shit! Pause the frame there. There's a fucking Pe- uh, Pichu. There's a you know so and so in the background like this, you know it, it's a ton of fun for mm-hmm. the fans who know it and like it just looks like a fun time uh i i'm genuinely excited it's definitely hit that nostalgia for me but my gosh i'm just i'm actually excited for it and it's goofy i thought it was going to be like a real bullshit like oh god but nope super looking forward to it what's what's the uh scariest looking pokemon that you think is in the trailers mm. I mean, you got wrinkly ass Charizard. That's not a pleasant sight. He's to see. scaly, and also I'm looking at a picture of him. He looks like he has two different colored eyes and a scar across his face. Oh, is he the anime villain? He's he's, he's got to be like he's the fucking Sasuke of Pokemon. Then obviously, I mean, yes, this that's dude his coming also out. has <laughs> <his> fucking shooting. <laughs> this dude also has a tattoo of a I'm stand. assuming his Charizard <laughs> on his chest. Oh wait, he's got a tattoo. Damn, that's oh, gonna yeah. be that's thirty-four there, seconds fucking... into the trailer. If you stop it, he's got a tattoo of Charizard. Fuck yeah, Charizard's fucking yeah. He's got it. Look at that. I like that. I'm gonna get tattoo of myself. This is me when I fight. Fuck you. Uh, it's just me oh flipping God. you off. <laughs> uh, Arcanine looks good. I always thought little Growlithe was cute. Those are adorable. Um, all right, let me ask you this: What Pokemon do you want to see the most? Oh, Apom, I want it to haunt my nightmares for the rest of my life. You've already seen Apom. Already got that yeah, a, a Pokemon you have not seen in have any of these trailers. Uh, uh, Ninetales, mm-hmm. my favorite Pokemon, Ninetales. Dude, what if it's a shiny Ninetales? Oh. Or an Alolan Ninetales. Oh yeah, Alolan Ninetales would be cool as hell. Um, I would want to see... I don't know. Maybe a Dragonite? Come in and punch Charizard's ass? 
Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I want um, just based on today and how we did them dirty. I want to see Dartrix. <laughs> Dartrix a cameo. Just bring it on. Yeah, it's like, well, sorry, boss. You're, you're here. We got you. Just put him in there, like a salon, like in the uh, like punk clothes or something. Just looking really unsure of himself. Um, yeah, I'm uh, excited. I think it looks good. I'm May 10th, and I'm sure that all of us will see it for sure. I have Unless. to say one thing that I wish that they didn't show, even though even though it's in the game, I wish that they didn't show off Mewtwo and just held that. That would have been cool. Yeah. And oh, they showed Evolution, I guess, as well. Yeah. Which is uh, interesting. Flareon, which is like the weakest one. Get the fuck out of here. Um, is, um, see, does Flareon normally have like blue eyes? And can no, Flareon they're usually only black teleport and like that? Yeah, they're scary alien eyes. Yeah, like the they, they're straight up black and soulless today. normally. They're okay, so spooky, so that yeah. Flareon's probably not a Flareon. <laughs> it's actually a mute. It's this, what if this is actually the uh, Pokemon the power of one all over again? You know what? It's just fucking Mewtwo. I mean, it's all that. probably... It'll just be Mew. It, it might be Mew, but probably if we actually played... I don't... I, can't speak for both of you but if we actually played detective pikachu we probably know some more whoa, 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 whoa. there's a game for this yes <laughs> it's based off a game what, what? <laughs> all right well uh that's gonna do it for this week's episode um again it's more news lighter just nothing too crazy going on there uh next week we are going to be uh, hopefully finishing and talking about uh the game that we chose which was the legend of zelda for the nintendo entertainment system or literally anywhere that you could play it on legally basically um yeah so i uh i know you guys are still playing through it i played through it and beat it um if you guys are just fucking use a, use a guide guys it's ridiculous I spent way too much time not you know, like now I'm not gonna do that. And I was like, all right, fuck it. I hate this dungeon. Goodbye. <laughs> we'll get some more thoughts on it next week. But um, yeah. Until then, uh, thanks for joining us today. Um, looking forward to this, and uh, look forward to speak to y'all about Zelda next week. Um, my name is Zenon, and we have uh, Mike and John here as well, of course, of Zikara Gaming. We will see you all next week. Peace. Later.